The Kyrosun Samurai has been one of my favorite pads to launch this year and has been my favorite cloth pad by far. Today we're going to be exploring what makes it so great and if it's been on your radar make sure that you stick around. Before we jump into things I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I have had a lot going on in my personal life so reviews have had a bit lower priority but I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things soon. Also, I wanted to mention that only 1% of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you enjoy my content and want to support the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. The unboxing experience that you're getting from Curiosun is excellent. It comes flat packed, which is the way every mouse pad should be shipped. And once we take it out of the box it's shipped in, we're left with this box with the Curiosun logo, as well as the name of the pad and the surface type. And on the back, we have a kanji logo and a pull tab. Once we pull that in and open it up, we are left with another box that has the art of the pad on it. Flipping it over and opening up the tabs, we open it up and we are greeted with a nice little info package that says hello on it. Inside of it, we are given our care and placement card as well as some of the info about the guys over at Curiosun as well as a sticker that has that same kanji logo on it. Now we are finally presented with the pad itself inside of a dust sleeve. Sliding it out, the pad is seated on a plastic protector to keep the base of the pad in the best condition possible until you set it down on your desk. You can tell that there is a lot of care that went and thought that went into the packaging of this to ensure that you get the pad in pristine condition, which is something that I really appreciate and it was a very enjoyable experience overall. The art of the pad is very minimal, but it's quite striking as well and it really makes its presence known on your desk without being too over the top. Uh, the character looks really great and detailed and obviously matches the name of the pad perfectly. The printing of the design is not something that you feel on the pad at all, but the logo at the bottom here and the text is a little bit raised up. So uh, that is something that you might notice on your skin, but I doubt that you will be using your mouse down there, but it's something to keep in mind regardless. The pad is 420 by 490 and three millimeters in thickness. The base is an alpha cell base, which is super grippy to your desk, but not sticky. So it won't pick up much dust, but as you can see, it's not entirely unavoidable. Uh, it doesn't move around at all while playing, so you'll have no issues there. The base itself is quite firm, but it rebounds quickly and by no means makes it feel like a hard pad. The edge is stitched in white, which is a very clear design choice to make the pad pop, and I am a really big fan of it. It also sits level on the surface of the pad, so you will not feel it on your skin at all while playing. The surface of the Samurai has been exceptional. Uh, out of all the cloth pads that I have, this is definitely one of my favorite surfaces by far. It's a woven pad instead of a traditional knit pad, and that helps with both the lifespan of the pad, but also provides a different feel as well, which is really nice. It's a balance pad, so it sits somewhere in the middle of a control pad and a speed pad, as the name suggests, and it feels all around solid and super adaptable. The static friction is relatively low, but micro adjustments still feel very locked in and accurate, and it has great stopping power as well. I'd liken it to using a more control oriented pad but without that tugging feeling that you get from a control pad, which I've been a really big fan of. The dynamic friction is very low as well, so once you get the mouse going, there's no issues with that at all, and stopping power is really good as I mentioned before. I've noticed a slight difference between the X and Y axis. The X is a little bit quicker than the Y, which makes sense given the weave pattern. There is a little bit of a break in period as well, but after a couple of days of use, you're left with a very consistent surface, which has been a treat to use the past couple of months. If you're looking for something that you're gonna be able to use across a wide variety of games and just has an overall superb build quality, I would definitely recommend keeping this pad on your radar. In terms of pricing and availability, 
It's listed at 49 US dollars and is unfortunately not available at this time other than through the secondhand market. However, my understanding is that Kurosan has another pad coming out this year called the Shogun, which is a control pad. And after that Shogun launched, the Shogun, the Samurai, and the Ninja, which is Kurosan speed pad, will all be in continuous production as in-stock products. So if you wait a little bit, you have the opportunity to get all three Kurosan pads and pick which style works best for you. I'm hoping to get my hands on the other two products as well so I can give them a try and super exciting stuff coming from Kurosan. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you already have this pad, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.